Hey, what is up guys? My name is Tanner and today we are going to be talking about iPhone 16 rumors because I mean, it's not like the iPhone 15 just came out or anything, right? Um, no, but seriously, we're going to be talking about the next generation iPhone, a chip that's supposed to power it. And toward the end of this video, I'm going to be talking about, you know, me being back making videos. So stick around for that and let's just get straight into it. So we're going to be referencing a report out of Mac rumors that cites another report from DigiTimes. All right, so let's just get straight into it. Quote, Apple has already given order commitments to supplier TSMC for its second generation three nanometer chip fabrication process known as N3E, which is expected to be used in all four models of next year's iPhone 16 lineup. TSMC's next 3 nanometer node upgrade to N3E is less expensive and has improved yield to the Taiwanese foundry's first generation 3 nanometer process, N3B, which made its debut on the smartphone market with the A17 Pro chip that powers Apple's iPhone 15 Pro models. So yeah, like I said, iPhone 15 just came out. It's the first one, the pro models that is, to actually use that three nanometer manufacturing process. Now, for those of you who don't know, three nanometers basically just means how small they can get those transistors on the chip itself that powers the iPhone. So the smaller you can actually get those transistors, the more of them you can fit on the chip, and therefore, in theory, you know, the more powerful the chip actually is. So that's why it's kind of an important deal. This is still going to be a three nanometer process. However, it's going to be the second generation process that the manufacturer who actually makes these chips for Apple uses. So let's get back to the report now. The N3E process also focuses on enhancing chip performance and power consumption. According to DigiTime sources, the Foundry House has already moved N3E to volume production and plans to have the upgraded version replace N3 starting in 2024. Except for Samsung, all major chip vendors will embrace N3E and TSMC has already obtained order commitments from its customers, the largest being Apple. Apple is receiving all of TSMC's first generation three nanometer process chips this year. As early as May, Apple was known to have booked nearly 90% of the foundry's three nanometer production for its devices. Apple is now projected to take 100% of TSMC's capacity in 2023 due to delays in Intel's wafer needs. TSMC is also expected to move N3P, which little interjection for me here is a completely different process if you weren't following along, because I know I barely was, honestly, to volume production in the second half of 2024, according to the report. N3P is said to offer an additional boost to N3E with 5% more speed at the same leakage, 5 to 10% power reduction at the same speed, and 1.04x more chip density. All iPhone 16 models will be equipped with A18 branded chips based on TSMC's N3E node, according to Jeff Pooh, an often accurate analyst who covers companies within Apple's supply chain. The iPhone 15 and iPhone 15 Plus are equipped with the A16 Bionic, so a jump to A18 for the iPhone 16 and 16 Plus would be significant. Oh my God, I barely understood what I just read myself, but basically all that to say that there are going to be new chips powering the next iPhones, duh. But I think the bigger takeaway here is that Apple is already working on it when the iPhone 15 literally just came out. I mean, honestly, it shouldn't really be a surprise to anyone. However, it's just, you know, the rumor mills churning already. So what do you guys think about that? I'm really curious to know. Let me know down below in the comment section. I mean, you know, over the next year, I mean, we're going to hear a lot about the iPhone 16, and this is just one of those first reports. Hopefully, I'm going to be covering more of them in the future. And like I mentioned toward the beginning of this video, I was going to talk about this at the end. I'm going to be making some more videos here on the channel, things that I find interesting about just tech, like we're talking about now, rumors, 
you know, games, anything that I think that maybe you guys would find interesting as well. Because as I mentioned in my last video covering an iOS 16 update, I forget which even firmware it was at this point without actually looking, you know, the jailbreak scene is definitely not what it used to be. And, um, you know, that's kind of what I built my entire channel on. So I hope you guys will stick around as I, I guess, make new videos on new things. And uh, I really appreciate those of you who are here watching, who have been longtime subscribers. For those of you wondering why I'm holding this damn thing, it's because I just don't have my microphone arm yet. And it sounds way worse if I were to put it on my desk. You see, it's just not the same, so obviously I gotta pick this thing up. Hopefully that should be here soon, maybe by the time the next video's out, unless I just make more videos before Monday, which is when it's set to get here. So yeah, that pretty much wraps up this video. Again, iPhone 16 stuff, me being back. Let me know what you think in the comments section. Don't forget to give this video a like if you did. And if you're new, please subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And until next time, this is Tanner, and I'll see you later.